Hi everybody, it's Malik again on his channel. Today I will show you how to install the new Windows 10 on a computer or laptop without using a USB flash drive. And you will not need to change settings in the BIOS, you will not need to enter commands in the command line, and you will not need to launch the boot menu. And also, before installing the new Windows 10, you do not need to create a backup copy of your personal files and save them on another drive, because during the installation of the new Windows 10, the installation program will automatically save all your photos, videos, and other personal files, and then the installation program will place your files to the Windows old folder. Also, all your applications and games will be saved in the Windows old folder, and after installation, these applications will continue to work in the new Windows 10. And so, follow me as in the video, step by step, and you will install the new Windows 10 not lose your Microsoft license and save all your personal files in this easiest way. First, you need to download the Windows 10 ISO file to your computer. To do this, open your browser and enter in the browser search, Download Windows 10. Or open the description of my video and click the link to the Windows 10 ISO download page. A page on the Microsoft website has opened here you can find out all the details of using Windows 10. To download Windows 10 on your computer, click here and the Media Creation tool will download to your computer. This application will download the Windows 10 ISO file to your computer. The application has loaded and you can close the browser. I open the Explorer folder, then the Downloads folder, and double-click Media Creation Tool. The application has launched, and here you need to accept the Microsoft license terms. We don't need to update our computer. We need to download the Windows 10 ISO file. Next. In this window, you can uncheck the box, and here you can select any language for Windows 10. I choose English. Next. In this window, you need to select downloading the Windows 10 ISO file. Next. The application prompts you to select a location to place the ISO file. I select the desktop, click, save, and the Windows 10 ISO file immediately begins downloading to the computer. The ISO file download is complete. Click. Finish. To start installing Windows 10 on your computer, double click on the ISO file, and here we can see all the files required to install Windows 10. Now we need to open the folder, Sources, and in this folder we need to find the installation file, Setup. Scroll down the list of files and find the installation file setup. Now double click on this file. And the installation of Windows 10 on your computer will immediately begin. In this window, click No Thanks, since you can get all updates after completing the installation of Windows 10. In this window, click I don't have a product key, because your new Windows 10 will be activated automatically. In this window, you need to select the same edition of Windows 10 that you had before. If you had Windows Home, then select Windows 10 Home. If you had Windows Pro, you need to select Windows 10 Pro, and then your Microsoft license will be saved and the new Windows 10 will be activated automatically. I used to have Windows 11 Pro, and that's why I choose Windows 10 Pro. Next. I agree to the license terms. Next. To continue installation, click here. In this window, we see the C drive of my computer and several small system partitions, my computer has only one 1TB one drive connected. It is possible that your drive, in addition to the C drive, also has a D drive or several drives are connected to the computer, but in any in this case, in this window you do not need to do anything with these disks and partitions, so as not to lose personal data. To continue installing the new Windows 10 you need to click on Drive C, and then click Next. You will immediately see a message from the installer. From this message you will learn that upon completion of the installation of the new Windows 10, all your personal files will be placed in the Windows old folder, and you will be able to use your files in the new Windows 10. Click OK, 
and the installation of Windows 10 begins immediately. You don't have to do anything for a while. You can relax and drink a cup of tea or coffee. Your computer will automatically restart several times. Please do not turn off your computer. The installation of Windows is coming to an end and now we have to make some settings. Choose your region. Now the keyboard layout. Skip. I will be using Windows for myself. Next. If you do not have a Microsoft account, click Create Account and then follow the instructions of the system until you register. I'll create a local account and click here. In this window, you need to enter your username. Next. You'll need to enter a password here, but I'll do that later. Next. Here I waive all proposed terms of confidentiality. Accept. Accept. The new Windows 10 welcomes us, there's not much left. Yes, I did it, and now I have a brand new Windows 10 on my computer. Hope everything went well for you too. I press the button, Start, then Settings. And here we will see how the automatic activation of the system went. Yes, I have Windows 10 Pro installed and activated with my digital license. Now I open File Explorer, then this PC, and double click on the C drive. Here is the Windows old folder, and it should contain all my personal files. I open this folder, then the folder, Users. Here I open the folder with my username. If you remember, there were several folders on my desktop in Windows 11, and I open the desktop. Yes, here is my old video folder and my photos folder, and I will check if I lost my files or not. Yes, I didn't lose anything, my files were saved. Now we will see how my programs were saved using this method. Let's open this PC again, then disk C and open Windows old again. Here you need to open program files where installed programs are usually located. And now I will show you how to use programs from the old windows. I open the folder of one of the programs. Right click on the icon of this program and select Send to desktop. Then I double click on the icon and the program launches safely. In the same way, you can use all your applications from the old windows. I hope this method will help you make a clean installation of the new windows and you will not lose your license and keep your personal files and applications. Thank you very much for watching my video. Have a nice day everyone. Thank mm -hmm. you.